If you don't know by now, I'm talking about the saloon life, baby. Gamersaloon.com. Sign up now. Welcome. Welcome. King. A sneaker is a commodity. It should be dead simple to buy a dead stock pair. Welcome to Stock X, an actual stock market for sneakers. Every pair of sneakers sold on Stock X passes through our trading floor. With dudes who look like James Harden, make sure you never get scammed ever again. Now that's a legit check. The only thing more legit would be if dudes who look like Wale come in and do the voiceovers. Next matchup is on right now. So let's get this updated, updated. All right. So I'm not sure if this is our live game right here. Or let me see. Let me, let me check these gamer tags. Scheming. It looks like we might have our next matchup live already. Let's get straight into this. If you guys didn't know, we got some new competitors this time around. Got some very good, good players. Um, now, one of the big things you guys are going to want to know is this matchup right here is Scheming. He is taking on Balling You Up. All right. So let's get this straightened up right away. Get these names updated for you guys. Get these names updated. But uh, on screen right here, we got Scheming taking on Ball. Man, we got, we, we, man, you know what? We're going to have to get this man a new nickname, man. We got we to have to do something. Because I don't know how I'm going to say balling you up 614 every single night. So me and Ball are going to have to have a conversation after this stream about his nickname right now. Because balling you up 614 I don't know how that name came about, but it better have some darn good significance. Otherwise, we are going to be making some changes to that tonight. Me and him going to have a talk. We got to get something catchy for him, like just, just balling you up or something. Just just something short and catchy. The 614, that must be where he's repping, man. It's got to be what he's repping. But uh, with that said, man, we got this game on. Balling you up is Seattle as well as scheming. 614. Shout outs to the 614. Get this updated for y'all. There we go. So a beautiful dot there on the right side of the field. A beautiful dot. Let me get this name spelled correctly. Sorry about that. Bam, there we go. So shout outs to everybody in the chat, man. Who do you guys have winning this matchup? Obviously, this thing has gotten, uh, you know, he's got a nice lead right now. Call him by you. All right, bet. Shout outs to B-Ville. Shout outs to B-Ville. But here we go. First and goal, second and goal, all the same. He's getting, oh, I thought it was all the same. I thought he was going to get in on that play. Uh, he's in quarters three deep right now. BYU on defense, um, scheming on offense. Currently, BYU is up 14 points in the fourth quarter. He is taking clear control of this game um, so far. He goes for the QB sneak. Does the fake pitch and gets into the end zone. Looks like we got into this game just in time. Wow, oh wow. Here we go. Saying scheming is off stream. Ah, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. There we go. All right, that should be good. That should be good. So scheming on defense, he's got a chance now. 
to get right back into this ball game. He just needs one stop, and he's going to be good to go. Just needs to get the stop and get the ball back into his offense's hands. And, oh, my goodness. Here we go. Has a man wide open underneath. A beautiful dot right there for Mr. BYU. And at this moment, at halftime, it looks like the Warriors are up eight. So you guys are coming from the Warriors game, coming from the Thunder game, coming in here. That is at half. So here we are. <laughs> a lot of PS4, Xbox talk. You guys know the Xbox guys and the PS4 guys. They love going at it, man. It is always which console is better. Which console has better players? Which console has more players? Like, it is always the age-long debate. And it is absolutely wild. <laughs> Which is better? I don't know. I have both consoles, and I'm going to be very, very blunt and honest with you guys. I think the PS4 is the better console. However, for gaming... Uh, as far as everything else, I think the Xbox is a better console. Like, if you want a TV, entertainment, all that, Xbox is a better console. As far as where the competition is on Madden, I would have to give a slight edge to Xbox, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. You know, not that the PS4 guys aren't as good. I just feel like there's more guys on Xbox, more competitive players on Xbox. So, that's that. Anyways, so fourth and three, this is just what Scheman needed. Scheman trying to lock up here. Four verts coming, and he's got a hot dot cooked up here. I can just feel it. I'm telling you by that route combination, he's going to have that drag wide open, and he's going to get the first down. Very good route combination there from BYU and uh yeah it's going down right now 21 14 two minute warning not much left in this ball game but we are here and anything can happen interception fumble etc etc it's going down top 10 top 10 <laughs> oh man here we go. He's got a hot one cooked up on the right side. A double juke goes for the dive. And at this point, he is just trying to kill as much time as possible. So let me know. How many guys of you in the chat right now got your saloon game up, got the saloon games, got our CVC going, and you got the NBA in the background? Let me know in the chats, man. I know a lot of you guys are excited for this NBA playoffs. I am as well. I'm also excited for this CVC League. So you got to have, man, you got to be able to multitask, man. It's, it's 2016. It's That's the wonderful, beautifulness of 2016. You're not forced to just do one thing, um, locked in on one thing. You can do so many things these days that uh, it's just kind of insane absolutely insane so <laughs> it's amazing um but the thunder and the warriors are playing we got scheming versus byu i mean it just can't get more better of a competitive atmosphere tonight nba playoffs saloon cvc started back up and my goodness week one season two new competitors new teams we got some old competitors, some old teams, just crazy. It's going to go for the one-on-one. -on -one. And it's intercepted! Oh, my goodness! Scheming gets the height! I thought it was a reception. I thought he got the aggressive catch. He gets the interception! Oh, my goodness! That animation... Ooh, I have not seen it too many times, folks. I have not seen that one too many times. And the momentum has completely shifted. This one was just about over. He needed one more first down. He did not get it. 
and now he has to play some defense or risk getting two-point conversion and losing in regulation, scheming with the ball down seven with about a minute left, but he's got two timeouts, and he's got a young Russell Wilson trying to make something happen, a beautiful dot on the left side of the field, running some hurry up, takes a timeout, and it is lit, ladies and gentlemen. It is lit. This is absolutely crazy. <clears throat> See what he's got cooked up here. In this possession, on this drive, he has a flat wide open, gets to the out of bounce line, and stops that clock. Oh my goodness, this is why you play the game until the very last second, guys, because anytime anything wild can happen, one crazy play from a defender, one bad read, one anything, one, 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 every single play matters. That is why these pros know that you have to lock in from the very first second till the final whistle blows. Has a beautiful corner route, gets the possession catch, toe tap time, and now he is on the 26 just outside of the red zone. See if he can get this touchdown. It's going down, folks. Split close. Uh, let's see if he goes with either an aggressive catch or if he goes with that corner route. Halfback wheel, a very popular route. He goes to it. Woo! Almost gets the uh, catch right there. Almost gets the interception. That really could have gone either way. Uh, but that aggressive catch is definitely difficult to pick off, which is why that defensive play you seen just moments ago was absolutely insane. Back in that split close, he ran halfback wheel the previous play. Let's see what he goes with this time. Is he a very popular concept is run halfback wheel. You're going to streak that outside wide receiver on the right. And uh, once you get that one-on-one, -on -one, he goes. He has a man. Woo! Russell Wilson set him up, and he got murdered. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, is the audio out for me or is he talking, <laughs> or Swizzy said they just need a cam with no audio, oh my goodness, you guys are too much, he has five seconds, five seconds, he's got one play, maybe two, he can have two plays if he goes for a jump ball here, but he's pretty much got one play. What has he got cooked up? One play. Incompletion. He's got one more. One second left on the clock. This is it for the ball game. And their first game of the year. Scheming versus BYU. What has he got cooked up here? One second left. I'm assuming we're going to see a coverage defense. I don't know if we're going to see either a, an attempt at a dot or an attempt at an aggressive catch. I'm not really sure which route he's going to go. Let's see what Scheman has cooked up here. He's got to get in the end zone right here, right now. Lack said he's putting 11 guys in the deep blue. I 100% disagree with that. If you don't rush at least one player, you're just asking to get dotted up. You got to rush at least one. I would rush almost two or three, uh, depending. Pro at least two. Because uh, I want to get a block shed. I want to get a sack. Um, he rushes three. And he has a hot one. A hot one. A beautiful dot. Skeever gets it to the end zone. Touchdown. Oh my goodness! Wow! 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 Welcome to overtime, folks. He takes his extra point. We're going to OT. What a beautiful read right there. Welcome to Gamersaloon.com. Challenge other gamers in the most popular skill-based video games for real cash prizes. 
play head-to-head -head matches, or in multiplayer tournaments on every major console, PC, and mobile device. Create an account, find your opponent, and go play. Report back and revel in your winnings. Millions of prizes have been awarded since 2006. Get in the action at GamerSaloon.com. What a beautiful read right there. That dot was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful play right there. My goodness, scheming. I got to nibble that. That was a hot play. That route combination was insane. I'm not sure what the defense was doing. There was players open all over the field. But he did exactly what he needed to do. And now he has the ball first in overtime. Woo, gets into the backfield. A big tackle there for BYU. A really big tackle. Unbelievable. A great tackle right there. That play, if you're able to stop those inside zones and halfback handoffs in the backfield, that can be such a huge difference for your defense. So you're going to notice a lot of these guys use their middle linebackers or they use their safety but one way or another, they're typically trying to jump the run and stop the run themselves. The best way to stop the inside zones and those types of runs this year is to use her, get in the backfield, get a big hit on the halfback before he can get anything going or before he can even make a cutback um, to the opposite side of the field. Got that split close out there. Motions the outside receiver across the field. Has a man wide open on the sideline. And just like that, second and four. If you guys have not already, man. First off, I need you guys to check out our sponsors, man. Putting this all together. Overtime already in week one. This is how this season I expect it to go. Uh, moving forward, man, I expect a couple blowouts. I expect some overtime games. I expect some craziness on offense and defense. Some really big plays. Dots, aggressive catches, one-handed spectacular catch animation interceptions, etc., etc. We expect to see it all here for Season 2. And if you're new, hit that follow button. We're going to be here each and every Wednesday for the next nine weeks. This is week one. Week eight is the first week of the playoffs. And week nine is the championship round. We got eight teams. Only four are going to make the playoffs. Split close, fourth and one. What is he going to do? He motions the man across. Has a nice read across the middle and gets the first down. I told you guys we would see some crossfire, and it looks like BYU is running that crossfire out of the 3-4 over. Um, we will also see that out of the nickel, a couple different nickels. Um, you'll see that, um, but that is a very, very popular blitz concept right now. Very, very popular blitz concept, and it's going to be absolutely something you're going to see week in and week out as these competitors utilize the best blitzing and coverage concepts in the game on a consistent basis. So if you want to know what the best stuff is, the top stuff, what the best guys are running, lurk the stream. I know some of you guys are at home taking notes. It's kind of late in the year, so maybe some of you aren't. But let's see what he has cooked up here. If he can get into this end zone and wrap up this ball game. Split close, two wide outs on the right side. He has been motioning that outside wide receiver on the right side across the field. Does not do that this time. Has the flat, and that table route gets just enough room on the sideline 
gets upfield, gets the first down really big right there. If you guys have not already, man, make sure y'all show love to these competitors. I mean, you guys get to watch these guys play week in and week out. So all of our competitors in the chat, let it be known. Just say whatever you want to say. But just say, you know, you you a competitor. <laughs> you a competitor. Oh, my goodness. Who can quote me who said that? I'm a competitor. <laughs> That is a classic sports quote right there. You guys do not know. If anybody gets that in the chat, man, shout out to them. But here we go. Third and four. Scheming on offense. BYU on defense. Third and four. If he gets stopped here, he may take three. I'm not sure. Uh, I guess it depends on how he feels. He's been able to pick up a lot of fourth downs and shorts. Um, a dot! Oh my goodness! That should have been a touchdown. Russell Wilson overthrows the pass. And he gets a bad catch animation. If he gets a run after the catch, that is a touchdown. But he got the aggressive or possession catch animation. Insane. Wow, that should have been ball game. He gets it anyways. Gets the spec, the aggressive, the Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Jimmy John's delivery for a touchdown to wrap up this ball game. Wow, what a game. Touchdown, and our winner is scheming.